Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez. I'm a 3D artist using SolidWorks Visualize. Today in quick tips, how to render a 360 HDR environment. So why would we want to do this? Well, the reason why a 360 HDR environment is helpful is because it's a lot more efficient way of getting lighting and reflections. And uh, also another way of not having to have additional geometry in the environment in order to get those reflections onto whatever object we are rendering at the moment. So we're going to be using this environment that we have of a desert. And uh, I'll show you how to how to create an HDR environment out of this and then how to apply it, uh, the result on uh, onto another project. Cool, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to place the camera where we'd like that sort of center point of the HDR environment uh, to be. So we'll just say, we can do it a couple ways. We can create an additional camera or we're just going to eyeball it and say, uh, this is somewhere around here looks good. So now you want to click on your cameras tab, then click on the camera, then change it from perspective here under the general and make it a 360. You notice that the field of view changes. Then we're going to go here under the 360, that new sub tab, and click on it. And then we're going to click on preview 360 panorama and now holding alt and left mouse button, you'll be able to orbit the camera without actually also moving the camera. Okay, so you can see if, you, if you're happy with what you see. Great. So now we're going to go and export this camera. Let's set it up so it's, I don't know, it can be facing that way. And I'm going to click on Output Tools. Then in Output Tools, make sure you're in the Render tab. We are going to um, click on the image format and say HDR. Now, the, the Visualize uh, already knows that we're going to export a 360 because it knows what kind of camera we have selected. So at this point, we have to decide what kind of environment we want, what resolution we want. So for 1496 by 2048 uh, is kind of the default size. Um, I don't recommend you going any lower because uh, especially if you're going to have it in the background. So uh, this should suffice if we're going to use a uh, just a normal back, uh, black background or a different color background. Uh, but if you want to include in the background, I recommend you do at least 8,000 um, by 4,000. All right. So uh, again, you want to select what kind of rendering mode you want to use. We're going to keep it inaccurate and we're going to set it up at uh, 500 or 1,000. I already did a render. So um, instead, I'm just going to show you what it is that I got. And this is what it ends up looking. So you see it's a two by one and it is a 360 panel. Okay, so we are going to now switch projects. We're going to use the Camaro. This Camaro uh, is included with all the copies of Visualize. If you don't have it, you can download it from the cloud and I will show you how to get to it. It takes six seconds. There it is. So if you don't have it, you can always go into file libraries, click on cloud, and then here you will find uh, projects and you can just download by getting it right here. All right, so all we have to do at this point is we want to um, change the environment by clicking here, and then you're going to say plus, new HDR environment, and we will point to our file here. Then we'll click on it. I'm going to click on it as well here, and we're going to say half brightness. Perfect. We switch to the accurate rendering mode. Great. And now we can go into the cameras if we'd like, and we can sweeten up the shot a little bit more. We can add depth of field, exaggerate it a little bit more here by dragging this down. Perfect. We can even exaggerate the perspective. Again, let's pick another depth of field. And even going to some post-processing, add some vignette. And you can tweak the saturation and all that good stuff. Cool, guys. Well, I hope you find this helpful. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.